Hello, folks. <clears throat> Lately, some of you may already notice about the news that Taiwan Centers for Disease Control, also known as Taiwan CDC, claim they already had alerted WHO in 2019's December 31st that COVID-19, the disease, is capable of human-to-human -human transmission, even before Chinese CDC had confirmed about it, but was ignored by WHO back then. This is the news released by Taiwan CDC on their official website. And right now, even American President Trump recently also used this statement or false statement as a new excuse to further condemn WHO and mainland China for misleading or downplaying the situation of COVID-19 in January to February basically the beginning of COVID-19 outbreak. Also as his new bullet of smearing campaign against WHO in China. But uh, <coughs> WHO has clearly responded that they did not ignore Taiwan because Taiwan CDC did not, I repeat, Taiwan CDC did not mention anything about human-to-human -human transmission in their message of December 31st. So, who is telling the truth here? Is Taiwan telling the truth? In this video, I'm gonna briefly tell you the answers and show you some evidence and facts about it. For people who care about this news, of course. If you don't care about this news, and then I suggest you stop watching right now. Otherwise, it will become very boring to you. And just for the record, I'm a Taiwanese who lives in Taiwan, and I can read both Chinese and English. So it's very easy for me to research this information and check their authenticity. But I'm not a native English speaker, so please forgive me for my grammar error and some misspellings. Thanks. Now back on topic. Did Taiwan CDC really tell WHO at 2019, December 31st, that COVID-19 is capable to transmit by human? The short answer is no. The full answer is absolutely no. Now, <coughs> first, I'm gonna show you the actual full message sent by Taiwan CDC to WHO at December 31st. Here is the message, basic uh, an email very short about only about six lines and I'll read it I'll read it for you news resource today indicate that the seven atypical pneumonia cases were reported in Wuhan China their health authorities replied to the media that the case were believed not SARS however the samples are still under examination and cases have been isolated for treatment I would greatly appreciate it if you have relevant information to share with us. Thank you very much in advance for your attention to this matter. Best regard. Now, this message or email is wrote by our Minister of Health and Welfare, Mr. Chen Shizhong, who is this guy. Okay? Now, can you tell me where does this message mention anything about human to human transmission? Because I didn't see it. I have read these messages for four time already, and I didn't see anything of it mentioning about human to human transmission. Correct me if I'm wrong. Okay? And not only they did not mention it, all they did was just report or pass on the reports they received from Wuhan CDC, which is this one. This report, you see, is released in the same day as Taiwan CDC report to WHO, 2019, December 31st. Now, oh, by the way, I will put all the <coughs> links, all the links of the article and the website I show in this video, in the description section. You can check them by yourself. It's all that not I didn't I did not make them up okay so they didn't mention on their report at December 31st 
So maybe <coughs> some may wondering, maybe they have mentioned Taiwan CDC had mentioned it on other reports during the same period. That's what I saw too, right? And by the way, this during 2019, December 31st to to uh, 2020s, January 11th, on the last two weeks before uh, Taiwan president elections. And many, many political camping rallies full of people occurred during this past, past two weeks. So if Taiwan CDC have already found out uh, COVID-19 is able to transmit by human, they must alert us local people, right? That's first, they must alert us local people first because that's their job, right? But as a local Taiwanese myself, I don't recall they do it at all. I'm not aware of this disease until uh, about one week late before, one week before Chinese New Year, which was long after the election day at January 11th. So uh, maybe my memory is incorrect. So I checked their news release, the news release on their official website in the same period. And I only find out uh, three English reports in this period, but none of it, and none of it mention anything about human-to-human -human transmission. Here's the one I found out. See, the night, <coughs> January six. Not only they didn't mention about human-to-human -human transmission, what they say is complete opposite. See, they say no evidence of human-to-human -human transmission had been found. And I thought <coughs> maybe they have Taiwan CDC had mentioned had mentioning in their Chinese report. After all, Chinese are their or our mother tongue, our native language. Uh, by the way, I think Taiwanese is basically Chinese. We are the same people. We are part of Chinese. We speak Chinese. We write Chinese. We look like Chinese. We have same custom cultures. Our country's name is Republic China, so Taiwanese basically is Chinese. That's what I believe. That's what I believe. That's the fact. No, no controversial at all. Not controversial at all. Anyway, so I checked their Chinese report on their official website, and here is what I found. First one is is one is at uh, December thirty first, which is the same day. They did up Taiwan CDC claim they alert WHO about human transmission of COVID-19. And guess what they say? They still didn't mention anything about human transmission. And on the contrary, they say, this is what they say, basically means they didn't find out, they didn't find any evidence of human to human transmission. It's, it's, it's basically the same as they wrote in the English report. See? Uh, if you can read Chinese, you can find you can find anyone can read Chinese and check it out for you. It's the same. They I didn't lie. I didn't not lie. That's what they say. Now here is the one in January third. And it's still the same. They still say, it still claim they didn't find out any evidence of human to human transmission. And next, here is the one in January 4th. And they still claim they didn't find out. Here's the one in January 6th. And they still claim they didn't find out. Here's the one in January 11th. And they still claim they didn't find out. And as I mentioned, January 11th is our election day. If they find out COVID-19 is able to transmit human, and this is the day they should warn us the most, but they still didn't. They still claim they didn't find out human-to-human -human transmission. <coughs> so, all in all, as you can see, did Taiwan CDC actually alert WHO at 2019, December 30, uh, 31st, that COVID-19 is capable of human-to-human -human transmission? The answer is very clear, as I said before, no, 
they did not mention anything about human to human transmission. They say they did not find out the evidence of human to human transmissions. <clears throat> In other words, Taiwan CDC lied. They lied. And uh, some of you may ask why? Why they lied? Well, I think maybe it's because Taiwan CDC or Taiwanese government, which is ruled by DPP, by the way, just want an excuse to boast themselves, uh, to show how superior Taiwan is compared to mainland China, to pretend how bad Taiwan is mistreated by WHO, and how bad Tedros is to Taiwan. By the way, to Tedro is the leader of WHO, as we all know, and most of all to bash mainland China along with our American sugar daddy to fulfill their anti-Chinese agenda. Because these are exactly what DPP government, Taiwanese government, did during past two months along with the anti-Chinese shoe hired by them. Uh, we call them Yi Si Wu Ling in Taiwan uh, during these past few months. Uh, this is what I think. And uh, thank you for watching and listening. Bye bye.